It's an NBA afternoon game here on this Thursday. Kevin Harlan here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This crowd is really ready to roar in this Eastern Conference matchup for the Magic. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Carter Williams and Jay Rich in the backcourt. Hollis Thompson is out there with Nerland's Noel. And it's Embiid in at the five. And that one's good. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game. You know, getting the ball inside early. Well, it worked to perfection there. I like the game plan. Get it inside, force the defense to react, and then play off your big men. And yes, sir, that one drops. Carter Williams with it. With a team that is clearly rebuilding like the 76ers last year, road trips can be a humbling experience, and they had plenty of those last season. Now here's Carter Williams for three, and Jason Richardson the bucket on the assist from Carter Williams. Richardson's got himself on the board with three there. Philadelphia on D. It's a three-point game. Peyton dishes to Harris. And Oladipo kicks to Harris. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. From 11 feet away, and he knocks down the jumper. Oladipo's got his first two points. The Philly did struggle on the road, as you might expect them to last season, able to get far just nine road wins on the season. Well, being in single digits on the year is terrible, but also some of their losses were just really hard to watch. I remember the back-to-back 40-point -back losses on the yeah. road trip, and that was a case of a team that was really just a bit demoralized and, and young again and just not able to, to, to offer the resistance that comes with being more experienced. And with, with all that, they still have the rookie of the year. Yeah, he's a, he's a talent, Michael Carter. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. Yeah, me too, Clark. I think anytime you have success pounding the ball inside, you've got to continue to go to the well. Now here's Carter Williams. Feeds it to Richardson. Thompson outside. Back to Richardson. Shot clock at five. Here's Carter Williams. Again, Philadelphia. Now here's Peyton. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here is a screen on Richardson. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Tobias Harris, a combo forward, originally drafted by the Bucks out of Tennessee. I love his game. He does a little bit of everything and does it all well. He can handle. He shoots it a bit from outside. Not sure what his best position is going forward, but he's a quality player. And Harris, to this point in his career, has fared better defending small forwards. But Stevie continues to get stronger. Yeah, I think that's, uh, you know, kind of what should help him inside as he continues to grow defensively. The stronger you are, you know, the more effective you're going to be against those fours. And I think ultimately you'll be, you'll be able to see Harris guard a lot of the fours in this league, particularly the stretch fours. So he hits one of two from the strike. Well, Nerland's Noel's rookie season, essentially a medical redshirt, recovering from ACL surgery in early 2013. So this will be his true rookie season. How about this? They're shooting 80% so far. I know it's early, uh, but offensively, they look great. Peyton kicks to Harris. Peyton outside. Back to Harris. The nine-foot shot. Almost, but it rolls out. And Nerland's Noel projected as a number one draft pick based on his defensive impact as a freshman Clark at Kentucky. But the knee injury dropped him to number six. Yeah, you're drafting that high. General manager's looking for an immediate impact player in the draft. Concerns about that knee and his slight build caused him to slide. But if he gets healthy and adds some weight to that frame, I think he could be a real presence defensively. And Orlando has possession. 
76ers getting the bucket. Four on the shot clock. And it's Harris off the drive, drilled from 11 feet out. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Carter Williams kicks to Noel. Pass to Richardson. Back to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Carter Williams against Payton. Carter Williams can't get it to go. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill, didn't give him a chance. And there's Oladipo on the assist by Harris. Oladipo's got his second basket. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Here's Carter Williams. The shot is good off the backboard. And so here's Orlando trailing by two. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. I briefly spoke with Brett Brown. He said that one of the challenges they're very conscious of in this matchup is scoring despite the shot blocking. He said, you know jumpers like to jump, so we've got to show them some pump fakes, get them up in the air, and that should allow us to get to the line or create easier looks inside. Kevin, we'll see how it works. Thanks for the report, Doris. Guys, what do you do to spread this defense out? Well, I think you've got to come at them with a variety of offensive looks. Try to keep them guessing, keep their rotations a little bit off rhythm. As usual, Steve, you're all over it. You've got to keep switching things up to, on them so they can't get settled into a defensive rhythm or groove. So give them something they don't expect. Nikola Vucevic possessing prototype size for the center position. Seven foot tall, has about a nine and a half foot standing reach. Even without great leaping ability, he can play over the top of a lot of opponents. Now here's Richardson. And Thompson kicks to Richardson. Another three for Philadelphia. <laughs> the lead changes hands once again. There has been no separation between these two teams tonight. What an intriguing basketball game, that's for sure. And you mentioned Vucevic, not a top athlete. The Magic working to develop his lateral quickness, Clark, and explosiveness. Yeah, he still struggles to defend guys in the pick and roll situations, Kevin. He's not that fast of foot. That's where the Magic are trying to help him grow. But he's a double-double guy because of his rebounding ability. And he's got a nice touch for the big guy. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Now here's Carter Williams. Six points for him. And Thompson kicks to Richardson. Back to Thompson. Lets it go with a three. Can't get it to go. And Orlando will come the other way. Peyton passes to Vucevic. Peyton outside. Harris dishes to Oladipo. Inside to Vucevic, stolen by Thompson. There's the dish to Carter Williams. On the wing, Thompson. It's stolen by Vucevic. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. Orlando moving the ball around. Peyton kicks to Oladipo. Shot clock at six. Back to Peyton. Now Richardson. Here's Thompson. That's good. Boy, this game is off to a terrific start. No doubt. On both sides, high octane offense. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. Well, Joel Embiid, born in Cameroon, the son of a professional handball player, only started playing basketball at the age of 16. He's been playing soccer and volleyball, but I'll tell you, his development in the game has been rapid. Orlando trailing here. Peyton outside. Back to Harris. It's stolen by Carter Williams. It's Thompson off the drive. With the fadeaway. Misses off the right iron. 
And for Embiid, his countryman and NBA veteran Luke Richard and Mbamute spotted him at a camp in Africa. That was the start of it all. Came over to the U.S., didn't play a whole lot in high school, expected to redshirt at Kansas, but ended up starting from day one. And the thing I liked about him is he almost improved, not just game to game, you could see improvement within game. That's a great Embiid. point, you're right. Oladipo misses. Excellent, really solid job actually by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. Carter Williams, the pass to Thompson. He dishes it to Noel. He kicks it to Carter Williams. Six to shoot. And the pass to Richardson. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Richardson's got eight. Yeah, no mistakes on the offensive execution there. And here's Oladipo. Harris setting the pick for Oladipo. Kicks it to Harris. Pass to Payton. Harris dishes to Payton. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Once again off the mark, Orlando. That's a bad shot. You really hurt your team by taking a shot from that range. You put your defense in jeopardy. And it certainly won't make him any friends with his teammates. Now here's MB. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And it's Peyton. That's home on the assist by Oladipo. Beautiful work in the transition game. That's how to do it. Attack early before the defense can get itself set. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Victor Oladipo, the second overall pick in last year's draft out of Indiana, viewed as a can't-miss prospect for his combination of athleticism and work ethic and defensive potential. And you called a lot of his games uh, in college, and now you see what he's doing as a pro. Well, you know, he was also favored to win Rookie of the Year and really like everything about Oladipo, Kevin. I mean, his attitude, his work ethic, his skill level. There was some question as to whether or not he was big enough to be a two-guard, and he's shown that... He's actually fairly comfortable running the point, and his skill level is pretty good. We talked about him maybe being favored to win Rookie of the Year. That honor actually went to Michael Carter Williams in CW. But nonetheless, Oladipo had a strong first year. Here's Gordon following the basket by Tony Roten. Over in the corner, Ridnow. Pulls up. And it's Gordon missing. Right from the start, they've been aggressive on the glass. Most of the rebounds seem to be going their way. And Steve, I think they are ready for the fight today. Roten kicks to Shved. Shoots a three. Second chance shot, and he sinks the layup. And now a 6.76ers lead. And the story of this game in the early stages is just how well they've been shooting the ball. Steve, their percentage from the floor is really impressive up to this point. Now here's Harkless. This is to Ridenauer. Jacks up a three. A second chance effort, and he gets the bucket. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Here's Shved. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Changes up, and it's blocked by Gordon. And they'll keep possession. Here is Ridenauer. Pass to Harkins. He feeds it to Ridenauer. There's the screen. In the corner, it's Gordon. Pass to Ridenauer. Back to Gordon. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Now just a 2.76ers lead. Philadelphia's gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. And Shved kicks to Sims. The feed to Grant. All alone. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Nobody anywhere close to him. Where's the defense? He's got to make that shot there. And Harkless slams it in. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah. He is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. Well, that's part of what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. Here's Sims following the bucket by Orlando. Grant kicks to Shved. Here's Roten. Drills the three-pointer. Roten's got five points so far. The Magic trail by three. 
Shot and game clock separated by five. Gordon goes in. Fires the three. The rebound by Grant. Feeds it to Roten. Puts up a three. No good. He gets it up. Can't hit. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. 76ers on top, up by three. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And what stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? Boy, a ton of threes in that first quarter. This team really lighting it up, guys. Yeah, it's been an onslaught from downtown. We've got Kyle O'Quinn, Gordon out there with Mo Harkless. Then there's Luke Ridenauer, and it's Gordon in at the shooting guard. That's the group start the second quarter for the Magic. Kyle O'Quinn in his third season out of Norfolk State, 6'10", but with a 7'5 wingspan and the strength to hold his own at the pivot. He has shown some promise for a player taken in the second round. And O'Quinn, a relatively ground-bound game out of big-time athlete. Yeah, and very foul-prone defensively, in part because of that lack of athleticism. But he has shown the ability to knock down the mid-range jump shot. He's a hard worker, a fatherly young man, good rebounder and shot blocker. I think he's got a chance to be one of those guys that plays a long time and makes a nice contribution in the league. And he makes both free throws. You have to hand it to the Magic last year. They were a solid team when they played here in Orlando. Yeah, and that would be indicative of a young team that's trying to find itself. Usually, a team in that rebuilding mode will play better at home. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, Kevin, for some, Aaron Gordon is seen as a tweener. And for Gordon, it isn't going to phase him. He said, obviously, you have to play a position in the NBA, but I'm going to do a little bit of everything. Post up, hit jumpers, go by people. I'm going to do it all. I'm confident that I can play both the three and the four. He has the skills to pull it off, Kevin. That he does. Thank you, Doris. The Magic went closer to 500 than you would expect here at home last year with a 19-22 record. Better than a fair amount of teams in the league. Now here's Williams. Right wing, six to shoot. Roten with it, and it's Gordon picking him up. Good! Maltry's got the lead up to six now for the 76ers. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Well, when you look at Orlando, when you play in front of your home crowd, you get a lift that really can act as a great equalizer for talent. And last year, I thought the Magic were able to make the most of playing at home and getting that lift from the crowd. Nicholson's checked in for the Magic. Victor Oladipo comes in for Ben Gordon. And then for Philadelphia. Erwin's Noel checks in for Grant, and it's Carter Williams in for Roten. 
Victor Oladipo played for the same college coach as Dwayne Wade. And, you know, their games actually draw some comparisons. Both are 6'4", strong, huge wingspans, and explosive athletes with that ball handling ability. I think Oladipo has a great future. And he makes the first. And Oladipo, an all-around player, he can rebound, pass, and he can defend, even block shots. Yeah, and again, you see the parallels with Dwayne Wade, although not as tall and not quite as long as Wade. His charisma and passion, though, remind you a bit of Dwayne Wade in terms of his game. Um, and I like his name, too, Oladipo. I That's do a nice too. basketball name. You can do a lot with that when he gets going. A little rhythm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Here comes Oladipo. There, there you go. Oladipo. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Now here's Carter Williams. He's got six. Noel passes to Williams. And Oladipo pulls it down. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. Now the dish to Ridenauer. Here's Harkless. Good. And the assist goes to Ridenauer. Harkless has got five. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. And there's the pass to Carter Williams to the wing on the left. Moultrie setting the pick for Carter Williams. Rebound by the Magic. Oladipo with the ball. He has six. Misses from close range. Shoots from 14. Another miss by Philadelphia. Great look. Disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks that one down. Kicks it out to Ridenauer. He dishes it to Nicholson. Inside. Aaron Gordon drafted after just one season at Arizona and he's extremely young for his class. His folks enrolled him in school early because of his size and energy level as a youngster. And Gordon has always had a passion for the game when he was 10. He'd broken so many portable hoops, his parents bought him a permanent one. They said they put it up the next day around midnight. They heard a sound, looked outside, and he was digging the hole himself. <laughs> I like this guy. Well, that certainly shows a love for the game and a very mature work ethic. Bodes well for his future. Here's what Orlando's going with right now. Tobias Harris has checked in for Maurice Harkless, and it's Peyton in for Luke Ridnow. The 76ers also with a sub. Thompson's checked in, and that trip coming up empty, missing both. And Aaron Gordon out of Arizona, kind of a tweener between the, the three and the four, 6'8", 220. Not much of a shooter, but a terrific athlete with a great motor. He has shown the potential to be a great defensive player. That time the defenders were a little lazy getting to him. The Magic trail by three. Now here's Peyton. He kicks to Oladipo. Back to Peyton. It's stolen by Carter Williams. Williams kicks to Noel. Carter Williams against Oladipo. Down low. Here's Moultrie. Can't hit. And Orlando will come the other way. And Gordon brings some versatility defensively sure and offensively. Does. Nice. Clark footwork inside yep. and underrated ball handle. Yeah, I think he's got a lot of skills. I mean, he didn't shoot it that well either from the floor or the line, but you loved his motor, you loved his speed, and you saw glimpses of his ability to make plays mm -hmm. off the dribble. Noel, and a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Carter Williams has got three assists in the game. Orlando's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Peyton kicks to Oladipo. Peyton outside. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Shot clock at five. 
And it's Noel with the rebound. Tough D on the inside. Put up a roadblock, a construction barrel right there. That's what he brings defensively. And the layup's good off the glass. Now it's a 5.76ers lead. The Magic have gone 2 of 5 from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Harris a screen on Williams. Oladipo dishes to Harris. To the inside, Nicholson. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. That one goes. Count it. That's 10 points for Michael Carter-Williams. These defenders are not putting up much of a fight on the interior. It's been embarrassing. That's 10 consecutive points allowed in the lane. And that's not the kind of streak you want to have if you're playing defense. Now, here's Oladipo. He has six. Peyton drives in. Williams against Oladipo. Williams with the defensive effort. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Vucevic checked in for Orlando. Fry comes in for Gordon. Then for the 76ers, Embiid comes in for Moultrie. And it's Richardson in for Williams. Richardson with a screen for Thompson. Pass to Carter Williams. Kicks to Richardson. Now Carter Williams. He's got 10. Embiid sets the pick for Carter Williams. Another shot. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Been a couple of whirlwind years for Joel Embiid. Coming from Cameroon, had to learn a new culture, new cuisine, how to drive a car. Now he's a top pick, making millions of dollars a year. That's enough to make anybody's head spin. A lot to adjust to. But with his fluidity and the natural gift he seems to have for the game, I get the feeling this young man's going to be just fine. That one misses. And MB with a stress fracture in his back in March, a stress fracture in his foot in June. Clark, those kinds of injuries raise long-term concerns, especially when you're talking about a seven-footer with a very limited basketball resume. Well, there's no denying that, Kevin. I mean, clearly, if you're a general manager, then you're thinking about what are the prospects of this big, talented, highly gifted player going forward, and only time will tell if this is just an aberration or it's something that's going to be chronic. Now here's MB. They lead by six, their biggest margin. Richardson, no luck. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They gotta find something You're right. Great assist there. Led him to the perfect spot. Philadelphia's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Dishes it to Carter Williams. And Bede kicks to Thompson. He feeds it to Richardson. Lock at six. This one for three. Richardson missing again. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Peyton passes to Harris. Harris a screen on Carter Williams. And it's Harris off the drive. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Now just a two-point 76ers lead. The 76ers have gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Carter Williams dishes to Thompson. And Noel kicks to Carter Williams. Pass to Richardson. Down to five on the shot clock. And Carter Williams gets it to go on the assist by Richardson. And that's 13 points for Michael Carter Williams. Peyton outside. Pass to Oladipo. Back to Peyton. 
Oladipo against Carter Williams. And Oladipo kicks to Harris. The feed now to Vucevic. Sinks that one from the post. Vucevic has got seven. The defense pretty much helpless there, stopping that layup. I think too much of a mismatch in terms of height. And Philadelphia calls time here. Well, Tobias Harris missing the first month and a half of last season with a high ankle sprain. And once he returned, it took him a while to get back into form. But Magic are hoping he can be a big piece for them moving forward. Ben Gordon's checked in for Victor Oladipo. Philadelphia also making some changes. Sims is checked in, and it's Tony Roten in for Thompson. And Schved kicks to Richardson. Feeds to Roten. Expanding his range. Back to Richardson. The dish to Roten. And here is Schved. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And that one's good. Roten. And Harris now in his fourth season already, but still just 22 years old. Came into the league young, but has added some muscle to his frame. And uh, he's an underrated athlete. This guy's a really good all-around player. He had a 38-inch vertical at the NBA Combine a few years back. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, Brett Brown overseeing a major rebuild project as head coach of the Sixers. He said, you can get tricked by potential, but ultimately it gets down to integrity, character, competitiveness, and toughness. When you cut to the chase, those qualities mean more to me. Those non-negotiables keep me on track. They ground me. Kevin, fascinating stuff. So much of building a team and a program is defining that culture and the expectations. Thanks, Doris. Wrote you no good. You guys talk about Harris's athleticism. Steadily improving, too, Steve, as a rebound. You know, in the opportunity for big minutes in Orlando, they bought out Glenn Davis last season, freeing up minutes for Harris to take that next step. Now Payton. Tony Roten missing on the three. Shot clock at six. Payton kicks to Gordon. The three. And he gets it to go. Gordon's got his third basket of the night. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. There's the pass to Embiid. Here's Roten. And too long on the shot. This touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Peyton passes to Fry. Harris outside. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Tell you what, until this defense gets out and defends the three-point line, it's going to be a parade. Yeah, we've already seen three in a row from out there. And Philadelphia calls time here. Well, Channing Fry has always been a great perimeter shooter, but where he's really improved is with his inside game. Teams like to switch guards on him, and when they do, he can now finish inside over that smaller player. That's what makes him a versatile offensive threat. Orlando making some changes. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Vucevic. Harkless comes in for Harris. And Luke Ridnauer subbed in for Peyton. And Baamute is checked in for Philadelphia. Now here's Shved. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. And Baamute with it. Working on O'Quinn. Will it go? And it's good. Walk through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. And you talk about teams going small on a stretch, big man like Fry. What's the advantage? Well, the defense then can switch on the pick and pop and deny him easy looks. That's the first advantage. But, you know, his ability to take a smaller player inside means you have to guard him with a bigger player. So it's a pick your poison. A theme that has unfortunately come up for this Orlando franchise is their inability to keep a franchise talent for long. Of course, you think both about Shaq and Dwight Howard and their exits. Now here's Harkless. Five points in the game. And it's blocked. Now here's Shved. He's guarded by Ridna. Sims dishes to Richardson. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And Shved kicks to Roten. That is good. 
Roten's got it all tied up now for the 76ers. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. Here is Ridenauer. Left side, Gordon. Off target with his three. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports.